especially in high school. Because once I started playing in bands, the uh, aspirations of being an architectural draftsman went right out the window. I uh, I have to admit, you know, it's uh, tough work keeping up a C plus average. <laughs> I did it. College was a lot more fun. I went to school for music, so I loved college. But uh, this is for all the daydreamers and imagineers. The people that uh, bring us ideas like the light bulb. I once knew. sound of a steel guitar is my only friend tonight as I wander through the landscape and back to my life where I push my way through the echoes the sounds of my past there's no escaping the memory of things that don't last but you know I am a dreamer. You know I am a fool. Cause I see the stars above. When the sky is full of blue.
another song off Testing for Rust, and this is the, uh, the second of the two songs I entered in the Careful Songwriting Contest this year. This is a song about uh, a house I used to live in on the west side of Buffalo when I was a married man. And uh, I'll never forget the, uh, the day we went to look at the, the house when we were uh, considering buying it. We walked through the front door with the realtor. And uh, we were amazed at how wide the front door was. We were like, what's the deal with the front door? And the realtor turned to us without hesitation and said, coffin doors. Hmm. Well, I had never heard that term before in my life, so I asked for an explanation. And the uh, realtor said, well, this house was built in 1890. And back then, they used to have to have front doors wide enough so three men on the side of a casket could walk it in and out of the house for uh, wakes and funerals in the living room. The irony of which was not lost on me to have a wake in a living room. Well, we ended up buying that house and uh, those wide doors came in handy for moving refrigerators and stoves and sofas in and out. You didn't have to worry about banging your knuckles or your elbows and scraping anything up. It came in handy a couple of years ago when my wife kicked my sorry ass out. <laughs> Gave her plenty of room to wind up fully as she was throwing my things to the curb. But I learned some valuable lessons living in that house for 14 years. Uh, you know, it was an older house, so it had a lot of leaks and creaks in it and drafty windows. And uh, sometimes I'd go outside and see some chap in a parka in the middle of summer pushing a shopping cart full of bottles and so uh, I used to turn around and look at that leaky creaky house and say man at least I got somewhere to sleep every night somewhere to eat dinner somewhere to sleep who knows where this guy's sleeping and where he's getting his food from well 15 years ago with nothing to my name but a Ford pickup truck I went down to the bank and I got a loan and I got a home with no money down. I know fixer up around the west side of town. You know it ain't in the greatest section, but the mayor said the next election. He promised to turn this neighborhood around and I'm still waiting. <laughs> I got a home with no money down. You know it's built with beams that measure two feet around. You know they don't build them like that no more with lead glass windows and the coffin doors but I got a home hey I got a home you know the hookers and the dealers start taking to the corner around the time the sun goes down well you can hang your head in horror watch it all go down Laughing as you tell yourself the circus is in town. <laughs> but I got a home. Yeah, I got a home. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Got a roof above my head and food on the table right now. You know it might need a little touch of paint. The prettiest thing at times it ain't, but I got a home. Hey, I got a home. Yeah, I got a home. No money down, 
nobody down With nobody down I want a couple more songs